देखुन, फ्रम लाइन आईटेम इट गोज टू कंट्रोल From controls goes to define field status variant. Right. Okay. So, our copy kitta ek orbo will copy it from one thousand. Okay. Select kutta abe and then copy it. Now we'll give a logical name. T M twenty one and then we we'll mark it field status variant. Ah, one second. Just hold on, please. One second. Field status variant TM twenty one T and then enter copy all. Jira bol back end is ja aaje. Everything will be copied here. Okay. Now you save it. Okay. Now you have to make certain changes here. So you select here and copy here. So you can see all these fields to this group, and these are all as per requirement. Okay. So you can see uh, we have what is called G zero zero four for cost accounts, G zero zero three for material consumption. Okay, then we have uh, G zero zero five for bank account. So as per the requirement, automatic changes, right? Ha, this will come automatically. These are all actually copied from one thousand, right? These are all field groups that have been copied, and they are all now under my personal field status variant, TM twenty one. TM twenty one. Now, if you double click G zero zero four. And then you will click on General Data. Then you can see three options are there. These are the fields actually. Okay. As you go forward, you will find lots of fields. These fields will come on the screen as per your requirement. Okay. And now, what is your work? Either you suppress any fields, or you make it required, or you make it optional. Suppress means I will not. It's not required. That field will not show on the screen. Achha. And you so therefore, if it doesn't show on the screen, there no no nothing to enter in that field, right? Okay. Achha. Now what I will do here, I will make a little bit of changes here. Uh, what I will do, I will make cost center, cost center as a required entry. Now what is a cost center? Cost center will be recording the cost under controlling. Cost center is a sub module Achha. under controlling. So cost center will be a required one, and I will also take the business area. Business area means places where I'm doing the business. Okay. Okay, that's it for this one. I'll save here, and I will go and touch G zero zero five also. That is for the bank. We'll click on general data. 
and I will see text is a required entry here huh? means when you are passing an entry uh, you have to give narration so text is a narration right then go text go. means one kind of narration huh. you will get a field for giving the narration Narration. okay now cost center also here also I'm making it required and business area also it required okay and I'm not touching any other any fields and make it say so whenever you have to make any changes in the field status you have to click on the, you have to come here and make those changes right so what is the transaction code for creating a field status menu is OBC4 O B C four, right? Okay. Right. So once this O B C four is done, uh, then we'll go back to the customizing area so now I have created the field status variant as I told you so whatever you create in uh, SAP you have to assign with the company code so now we're coming to assign company code to field status variant so I'll double click here so this is the screen okay this is the screen that you so what you have to do you have to click on position and you give your company code that is T M21 and then you enter okay TM21 you enter and then you give the field status variant the variant is also the same, TM21. Uh, easy to remember that is why I kept it same okay mm. now save it we are still in enterprise structure click here the transaction code for this is OBC5 OBC5. Hmm. OBC. Okay. 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 Right. Now, so we have almost done with the enterprise structure. Now we'll come at the last one where we're going to do certain changes in the global parameters. Now, what is the global parameters? Parameters are the, you know, are the fields and the requests, required thing. Huh under under a company code what are the global parameters so i am going to show you the whatever you configure you can see in one screen in global parameters so where it let me come out of the screen let me close this okay now first is click on financial accounting then go to first global settings okay and then you go to what is called uh, <clears throat> company code here it's the company code and then you enter the global parameters here it is okay click here so this is the screen of the global parameters okay here there is nothing for new entries you have to click on position and you get to give your company code your company code is TM21 and then you enter so now it is see it is showing you double click on this line so this is the global parameter where you have this is the company code country key city language chart of accounts you have created company you have created this is the fiscal year variant okay this is the field status variant this is the posting period variant so I'll make a certain configuration here also so document entry screen variant if you click so here what, what what parameters we have configured that they will show hmm. whatever you configure so now the pro these are the accounting organization details okay and this is the processing parameters means when you do certain kind of transaction the some processing it is called a process everything will be processed right at the back end so here you mention the parameters for the processing purpose so this is the document entry screen variant first one so if I click here, this is basically, you know, it's a kind of withholding tax, right? Withholding tax in India is called TDS, tax deduction at source. When you 
for no paying a company for but suppose a company is doing a project you have paid him for the fee for their project or you have or you are paying uh, a consultant or a lawyer his consultant or legal fees you there is a you know there is a limitation beyond that you need to deduct the amount and to deposit to the government as tds which is called tax deduction at source right mm -hmm. so here the ideal one we mostly follow these two where france and countries with withholding tax okay now now the exchange rate deviation of course a company which is using sap uh, will have business with external and you, know, you know companies outside india Or uh, if it's a U.S. company, it can be have a global presence. So since it's a global, all most of the company using SAP are global are global companies mostly, either uh, MNCs. So it can be a domestic MNC or can be a international MNCs. So they will be dealing with the exchange rate. So here I'm giving the 10 percent deviation. Okay, it can be more, it can be less as per the requirement, but I've given a standard one 10 percent. Okay, now negative posting permitted. We can have the negative posting. Now, from this year, you can have proposed fiscal year. Okay. Now, <clears throat> next we'll go to tax. How we are going to calculate the tax? The tax base is net value. Suppose you are giving a discount. You cannot tax on the base on the discount. So it should always be the net value. Suppose you are selling certain product. It's cost hundred rupees. You are giving ten percent discount. So tax will be on ninety rupees. So tax base is net value. Discount base is net value, okay, and then enable amount split. So these are the amount split. You can split the amount into parts. Suppose you have to, you cannot pay it in one shot, or you cannot, you cannot receive the whole one in one shot. You will get. Suppose the uh, customers will be paying in installments. So that is the amount split. In case of you are paying uh, to the vendor, in that you. you In not that you have to pay the whole amount to the vendor. You are splitting the payment, so that is what the amount split in other. Okay. Now the additional informations. You can see all these are legal relatives. See TDS number, PAN, GIR number. All these are regular uh, government regulations, regulations, tax related numbers, registration numbers. You have to give, right? Once you give this, it come out at the end. Finally, it is complete, and then you save it. Enterprise structure configuration of Tata Motors. Clear? Yes. Okay. The transaction code for this is OBY6. OB OBY6. Okay. Okay, so with this we are uh, we have uh, end with enterprise structure. Now we'll be entering the GL part, general ledger. Okay, so first one that we're going to configure is define tolerance group for GL accounts. Tolerance group. So what is it? Tolerance is you know at the limitations how much you can tolerate. Right. Tolerance. Huh. Okay. In that sense. Huh. Okay. So define tolerance group for GL accounts. Okay. So okay. will I write? I will write this one. Tolerance group for GL accounts. How you can write? The heading should be. You should always write a heading followed by the path and followed by the transaction code. Okay. Now look at the screen. Sir, uh, not coming. Not in. Sorry. Yes, sir. Came, came. Okay. And the main screen was not showing. Screen is not coming. Yeah, now it is coming. Okay. Okay. So again, it is financial accounting. From financial accounting, you move to general ledger accounting. Yeah. From general ledger accounting, you move to business transactions. Yeah. from business transaction you come to open item clearing open item clearing okay open item clearing means suppose when you are dealing with the vendors when you purchase any material from the vendor 
until and unless you pay the vendor in full, it remains open in the books of accounts. Same case when you are selling a product and to your customer, unless and until you get a, you get the full payment, it remains open in the books of account. So that is why it's an open item clearing. Okay, when you clear the open item. Outstanding also. Yes, open item clearing. Then comes the clearing differences. There's always some differences will be there. So that is why we need to create the difference. How much difference in payment and in terms of getting difference you can tolerate your GL. That is what we're creating the group, right? So here it is. Uh, define tolerance group for GL accounts. So you click here. So here you'll find the screen over here. What you will do? You can copy or let's better you go to new entries. You give your company code TM21. Okay. I'm not creating any group. I'm just keeping it open blank so that I can seamlessly pass the entries and all those things. No, no, no kind of hindrance I'm creating here. So in real life, Whatever is the requirement as per the company, you have to do it. So here we'll make it tolerance group for tolerance group for group for TM21. Right. TM20. Okay, this is the tolerance group for GL accounts in local currency. Either you give figures or you give percentage. If you give figure, don't give percentage. Okay. So debit posting, get it posting. Right? So here I'm keeping it totally blank. I'm keeping it zero. I'm keeping it no zero tolerance. Means it can it can go ahead without any obstacle. It can go. Okay, now save it. Here I will make a change here. I have to click on create. I'll make it GL configuration. General ledger. General ledger. Configuration duration of TF twenty one Tata Motors Tata Motors and then I say clear transaction code for this O B A Zero. O B A zero. Hmm. Okay. Sir, you have given when a zero tolerance means uh, nothing will be tol nothing will be. Uh, no, 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 no. I've not given any figure here. No figure here. So it uh, so it will pass simply. En entry will be passed seamlessly. Okay. Zero tolerance here means that you can tolerate any any amount difference. Okay. Any amount. Okay. Now, tolerance group for employees. So employees will also have tolerance limit, right? So next is employees. Uh, the employees that are working in the organization. Correct. So tolerance uh, group why for. Have the, why have you said tolerance for them? Means they are my employee. The employees, you know, all the employees will not be entitled to pass any uh, anything, right? There is always a limitations. According to the hierarchy, a manager can have a limit, a certain limit of passing. Then the uh, general manager will have a certain limit. Then the VP, president. So everybody has the authority to pass, right? So that is why you need to create a tolerance group for employees. Okay. So means in the sense of passing entry you are telling? Passing amount in the entry. Passing the amount. Okay. okay. Uh, can a junior staff can pass anything above 1 crore? You cannot. Right. Entry. Huh? Uh, okay. then, in, that sense. in that sense I am saying. So it is tolerance group for employees. So let me go back. Same path. Huh? You follow the same path. The next one. Define tolerance group for employees. Okay, this is the screen in front of you. Okay, so what we will do here? Simple, go to click on new entries. You don't have a group. We have not created any group. 
only give the company code. TM21. Yes. And now you give the upper limit for posting procedure. Upper limit. Okay. So what is the upper limit? I'm giving the maximum here. Okay. Mm -hmm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. Now, what will be the amount per open item? I have already discussed what is open item. So I am making also same. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, outstanding balance, open item. Yeah. Now cash discount per line item. How? So I am so giving. Open item was outstanding balance, no? Huh? Sorry. Open item was outstanding balance, no? Huh? That is what I am saying. No, unless and until you pay the vendor or get the full payment from the customer, it remains open, right? Okay. So how much amount you are going to? Employee can, uh, you know, can, you know, receive or can pay. Oh. That is the amount per open item. Okay. And then the cash, cash discount for line item. Means open line item. Per line item. One debit, one credit. 10%. I'm giving 10%. It can be 5. It can be more than 10 also. It can be less than 10. It can be more than 10. Okay. This okay. is the so upper line limit. Line okay. line item means debit credit. Yes, line item means debit credit and open item means the outstandings from both sides. Account from the side of account receivables from the side of accounts payable. Okay. Accounts payable. okay. Now this is the upper limit. Maximum okay. limit. Yeah. If you create a group, they, this group is open. Anybody is there in this group. So upper yeah. limit. This is the upper limit. 10 is the maximum limit. This is also maximum the... They can do posting up to this much amount. Yes. And 10% maximum discount is allowed by them. Okay. Now, permitted payment difference. How much the payment difference can be permitted by this group? This group is blank. Uh, here, since it is blank, so all the employees in the organization are, are included here. Right. So, how, how much is the pay, permitted payment difference? Either you give it per amount or you give it percentage. And if there is any adjustment is there, then you have to give the adjustment. Okay. I am keeping the permitted payment difference blank so that I can easily pass the entries. Okay. And now I save it. Transaction code for this OBA4. OBA4. Clear? Okay, the next one. Classify GL accounts for document splitting. Now, whatever documents are created in GL, whatever documents you create in GL, it has to be split. You have to split them. How, on the what basis you are going to split? You are going to split on the basis of revenue, expenses, balance sheet. Okay. So I'm going to split the documents, whatever the documents will be created at the time of entry, it has to be split it. So how I'm going to do, do that? Every time I have to split. You don't have to do that. It, it will be done in the system so that you have to just configure it. Okay. So classify GL accounts for document splitting. How it has to be done. So I'm saving it. I'm coming out of the screen. Here. Let me close the path first. Now we, I will do configuration for the split. Classify GL accounts for document splitting. Okay. For document splitting. <clears throat> so here it is financial accounting new. General ledger accounting new. Okay. Business transactions. Ten comes document splitting. Okay, these are the path. Financial accounting new. Classify GL account for document splitting. Ah, this is financial accounting new. Then general ledger accounting new. Then business transactions. Then document splitting. And now, classify GL accounts for document splitting. This one. Okay.
it will ask for chart of accounts what is our chart of accounts tmch right yeah tmch is a chart of account okay so what you will do you have to click a new entry okay now remember the account number one to one thousand was asset right so here i will select a category balance sheet okay now one thousand one to two thousand is also liabilities it's also balance sheet right now 2001 to 3000 is revenue right revenue yeah it, it uh, document uh, in that uh, account group we have mentioned that so we'll take it revenue here it is and then 3001 one to four thousand is expenses account Expense. here it is now enter so everything is here and now save it clear mm, okay so this is how you split the documents on the basis of balance sheet revenue and expenses okay transaction code for this gsp okay underscore lz2 lz2 write it down lz2 that is z Z Z yeah Z for zebra. Okay. 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 Now you have done the uh, what is called document splitting. Now you have to activate the document splitting. So next configuration is activate. So this one we don't have to assign with company code. No, because it is in the chart of accounts. No, you have yeah, given the chart of account. And chart of account is linked to company code. So data will flow automatically. Right. Okay. Now, next is we have created, the, uh, we have uh, splitted a document. Now we have to activate the document split. So the next configuration is activate document splitting. Okay. <clears throat> now look at the screen. So I'm screen not showing here. Path is not showing. No, let me go down. You can see this screen? Balance sheet account, revenue expense? Mm. This oh. one I can see. Okay. Okay. The next one is activate document splitting. Mm. You go by same path with a lower portion of this. You can see this one. Activate document splitting, this one. Okay, now click here. So you will get a screen like this. Only you have to click. Activate. Document splitting is activated. And then you save. So document splitting has been activated. Transaction code for this. S underscore E. L N uh, then underscore zero six okay zero six and then five times zero one two three four five and nine this is the transaction code for activate document splitting sir wait sir ah, you yes. can write take your time no problem sir the cursor you can remove that you can E L N ah, S underscore E L N then you write under after E L N again underscore zero six then five times zero nine. Okay. 
okay now next is this is the last one for gn document types and number range document types and number range yes because when this is for the normal gl entries okay you need to have a document type and then you need to have a number range because from the number range whenever you create the normal gl entries you will get a number automatically huh? so that is the number for reference for future reference that this is the document number one you can if there is anything to check you can refer that document number so that number will come from this configuration it is called document type and number range now let me come out of the screen let me close this path okay now we are SPRO then we come to financial accounting then come financial accounting global settings then we come to document then you come to document uh, from document you come to document header and then define document types this one define document types here it is click here you will get the screen so here from here there are options that you can take directly from here or you can co you can copy anything or you can click on new entries right so here what i will do i will take i'll go to position and i will select the document type s a okay and you click here you will find s a for gl account document okay s a you have to type in g s a every time you have to type s a Huh, when, no, no, every time, don't, for configuration purpose, just to find it out. When you, okay. just to find it out, I went to position and I gave S, A and then enter here. Then from whole lot of document type, the S, A will come on the front, okay, oh. on the top, right? That is for searching. And now you double click on this line. Once you double click on the line, you will find a document type SAGL account. Number range automatically SAP will give you. If you need to reverse any document after making entries, then it is automatically AB. And this document type GL number is applicable for all account types. Asset, customer, vendor, material, and GL accounts. And then we have uh, configured negative posting permitted and intercompany postings means between the subsidiaries, between, the, uh, between other group of companies. A company, your, this SAP, you know, used by companies which are having subsidiaries. So within the subsidiaries, it can be that is called intercompany postings, right? And now what you have to do? Simple. Just remember the number range is zero one. You have to click on this tab, number range information. Click here. Give your company code, T M M T M twenty one, and click on this edit interval. Okay, this one change. Click here. So a screen will open in front of you. Give the number 01 and give the year 2021 and give the range. I'm giving range 1 to suppose 5000. Okay. So whenever you make a normal GL entry, the number will come like from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, like this sequential. Now set it. Okay. Okay. Sir. The transaction code code for this is O B A seven. O B A seven. Okay. So this is getting is number range object accounting. Document type and number range. Document type and number. Range. Okay. Transaction code, I have given on the screen, OBA7, okay? So, this is the uh, basic configuration of GL, okay? So, with enterprise structure and after GL, I will be entering the normal general configuration of CO, means controlling for my next class, okay? okay. And... Uh,